Hey guys, uh, I haven't done any videos in a couple months and I have done some upgrades on the car uh, over that time with the kind of COVID quarantine uh, stay at home thing. So um, just a quick one on my uh, intake. So I actually finally decided to just pull the trigger and get an intake. Um, I've always had the uh, the modified stock intake, which I have a video about, which has worked great. It's, um, it's efficient and quiet which was at a premium to me. I sit in my car on the highway a lot. I just don't like super loud things on my cars, but I decided uh, based on my teenage boy's uh, recommendation of wanting to hear more whooshing and blow off noises to just get an open intake because why not? And I can sell it if I don't like it. Uh, new Speed was running a sale and I went ahead and got the New Speed. Uh, they call it the P-Flow intake. They come in three colors, red, blue, black. Uh, it's a super simple setup. It's just a... Um, it's a, a silicone coupler, it's a metal uh, intake pipe, and of course, a, effectively a K&N oiled a cone filter. And then you have this metal box that gets installed in place of the uh, factory air box, which is fed through the same ductwork as stock. And I actually still have the, the blocking plate here. And then the only trick is it has the secondary air injection pump here. Uh, it has the intake for it. It's really easy it probably took 15 20 minutes to install it taking your time so what are my impressions i mean it's a typical cone on a stick or cone filter on a stick intake it uh, makes a whoosh noise when you build boost of course and when you let off the gas under boost you're going to get the the blow off noise as the diverter valve opens and you get some sound traveling out of that filter so it's cool it's quiet on the highway um a lot of concern with folks with this style intake with um, intake air temperatures. I've done some logging and I see at this point a similar delta between ambient to intake of about 20 to or sorry about 10 to 30 degrees depending on conditions. I really think that in the end these filter or these uh, short ram open intake like this isn't going to really change the game with performance. It's going to give you more flow. You're going to get a little bit warmer air, but in the end, it's probably pretty minimal. And uh, if you have a big intercooler on it or an upgraded intercooler, that's probably a bigger difference in lowering those intake temperatures than a closed versus open intake.